So I've decided to cover the red rock enhancers together. So we're going to look at the overlay of them, the outline of them in this video, and then we'll look at them both in action in the next video. The reason I've done this is they're both very similar, although saying that one affects sort of the high end, one affects the low end, but they work in the same areas and I think they really feel like they should be grouped. They remind me of the BBE enhancers and sonic maximizers and the, you can get these in hardware and software, but they work in a very similar way. I've used these both hardware and software and these definitely remind me of both the sound and operation. The bass enhancer is exactly what you would expect. This is the RE200, the top model that you can see here. And this really is a psychoacoustic processor. So that means it's going to enhance low end without enhancing the level too much. And the BBE Sonic Maximizers do exactly this as well. So we've got pretty basic operation. We've got a nice input stage here. We've got a high pass filter. We've got drive for the harmonic saturation that creates the low end effect. We've got a color circuit, which just affects the sort of the timbre of it. And then we've got the scope, which is really the center frequency. So let's say that the center frequency that you want to work at is around 100 hertz, and that's where you want the, the, uh, the major boost. That's where you would set it, around 100 hertz here, and then everything will work around that. We've then got an add bass circuit, so overall you can add like a gain to the bass circuit, and then we've got a mix gain right at the end. You can also listen to what's happening, so let's say you just want to isolate exactly what you're doing in the RE200, you can do that here. When it comes to the 202 Exciter, we're looking at a very similar effect, but high mids and high end. So we've got the same input circuit. We've got a drive circuit here. We've got a timbre, which is sort of similar to the color that you see in the RE200. Then we've got a tune, which is similar to our scope. It's sort of the middle of frequency. And then we've got a low pass filter and a ceiling control. And then we've got a listen and a mix and an output gain as well. So very similar output stage with our uh, isolation circuit so we can hear what's going on. So as you can see, there are differences here, of course. They work in different areas, different frequency zones, but essentially very similar effects. So if you want to boost high mids, clarity, high end, add some sparkle to things, this is really the processor that you want to use. Low end and subs, this is the processor you want to use. Now I've got them on the master bus just so you can hear them very clearly. I probably wouldn't suggest doing this completely up to you. If you were going to do it, I'd probably work it in parallel. But, you know, going to work very well on a drum bus, going to work really well on synth bass, etc. And, you know, the high-end processing is going to work very well on percussion, etc. in your mix. But we'll hear them in action anyway. You're going to hear that they're quite intense, they're quite full-on, but a very useful tool to have in your rack.